Hi and welcome to my first video tutorial about Backtrack 3. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install Backtrack 3 on your computer because you know I've been getting lots and lots of emails asking me how to use Backtrack. So here's the first video. Very first thing you need to do is to go to this website. I have posted the link in the website on Tech Mafias already. So you go here and uh, make sure you download the VMware image of Backtrack 3, the VMware image. Here's where you click and you should start downloading it. And once you have done downloading, you will need the VMware. So you go to VMware.com and you select the appropriate option and you download it. Once you're done install, you know, once you're done downloading both of the things, you will see an icon of VMware. You see it here. Then you double click on it. You click on File, New, Virtual Machine. Typical, select second option, go to Browse, and select whatever, you know, wherever you have downloaded your, mm, I'm sorry, select wherever you have downloaded your Backtrack 3 file and then you click on next next and basically it will you know put it like this once you've done it you you right click on this and you click on power on so it will start up the backtrack 3 this is the screen you will get so you click it so you basically switching to another computer you push enter so it will try to load the backtrack 3 uh, let's make it full screened okay here's what you'll see it's basically loading all the files off from the VMware so it could start up. And once it's done, you will need to, you know, put in a couple of commands to start it. So let's wait unless it's done. Okay, seems to have been completed. Now it's asking you the username and the password. It's written here, login as root with the password, the the opposite. So you put R O O T. The password is T O O R. You push enter. So it will take you to the main backtrack command prompt. And this is the command start X to start up the operating system. So you put start X. I'm sorry. You put start X and hit enter. So it will load it. Let's wait. Okay, it's trying to come up right now. All right, here's the main desktop of the backtrack. You can change the resolution by you know, um, configure, display, put it to 1024, apply, accept, okay. And here are the basic stuff, you know, the, all the programs that you have in it. So I'm going to basically release all the different episodes for the use of those particular programs. Here are the password crackers and the sniffers, poofing, and uh, the scanners, and you know all kind of different things. So once you're done with it, the next thing you'll need to do is to connect yourself to the internet. So we'll need to use the terminal, which is the main you know kind of program of Backtrack. In the terminal, the very first thing you need to type is ifconfig. In Windows, you have ipconfig, but in Backtrack, you have if. Basically, in all Linux systems, you have ifconfig space dash a. So it will show you all the available networks. You see, I have lo and etho. That's basically a zero. So yeah. LO is your loop back ping. I mean, it's your network card. So you don't need to connect to this. But yes, you need to connect to this. All right. So first of all, you need to bring up, you need to activate your network card. So what you need to do is you need to type IF config space the network name space up. So it basically activated it. And the next thing you'll need to do is DHCP CD space ETH0. Yeah, so it says it's already running and uh, 
I'm already connected. That's why I got an error. Otherwise, it will tell you that it is connected. Now, once you're done with this, you can restore it. You can play around with it till I launch my new video with the, you know, different programs and how to use them. And make sure that you power off the system whenever you're logging off. Otherwise, it may just, you know, make it not to work. So click on OK. It's shutting down. Yeah, and it's turned off right now. You can close it. Yeah, you're back to your screen. So again, this is a video tutorial from Tech Mafias, and yeah, have a good day. Bye.